can add our own custom CSS and JavaScript with Bricks and there are three different scopes. We're going to have a look at all three of them starting with our global custom CSS and JavaScript. So if you go inside of your WordPress dashboard to Bricks settings and then under this custom code tab you will find your custom CSS here and this is basically your global custom CSS. So all of the changes styling changes that I'm going to specify here. Of course, I'm assuming that you have some knowledge already with CSS. We're not going to dive into this in detail. You're going to add them here. If you have a header uh, script, for example, a tracking script, there would be something you would usually put in here, copy and paste it, including with the script tags. And if you have another script for here and here, depending on when you want to execute a script, load the script, that's where you need to decide where to put it. Okay, let's just save this here, what we did. Basically just changing our body background color to red. So if I go to my page now and I'm gonna reload it, you can see my change has been applied. Okay, let's remove this. This is global custom CSS. That's already basically everything there is to it. Page CSS. So uh, I'm editing a certain page here. In my example, I have this page here, very simple. And I want to make a, an addition with some custom CSS. So how I would do this, I would go to settings and then under page settings, I have custom code here. Those are the exact same input boxes that we already saw here. And if I add my custom CSS here, now you can also see on the canvas, it's live updating. So as I make my changes, those are immediately applied to my canvas here. And of course, if I save them, also going to be applied on the front end. If I uh, want to change a specific block, this is the third scope that I want to show you. All I need to do is just to select my block. Let's just select this button and then we can say here under CSS, custom CSS, use root to target the element wrapper and then there's this example here which i'm also just going to paste and you can see it doesn't affect it there's nothing happening here because in the case of the button we actually need to go here inspect our element on the front end and you can see if we execute this on the element wrapper which is this one here this is our blue background it doesn't have any effect because for the button our background colors ac actually specified here under this bricks button selector so in that case i would need to add this selector here and as soon as i do this you can see that my change has been applied and now my button is rendered blue so we moved our css from here to here so this value will be overwritten you can see this here this no longer applies we are now using our blue background and this is how you add custom code um, in specific css and javascript with bricks i also quickly want to show you uh, if you run a website and you want to showcase some code just on the front end of your site not to actually run it execute it but just to maybe include it in a blog post some code snippets what you can do you can use this code element here on bricks let's put it here and you put in your code and you see this is not being executed also not on the front end this is just purely for decorational purpose and you also see that this is using a um, how do we call this a beautifier like your code is being prettified by using um, this theme that we specified here and so if you go to settings theme styles and element code we can change this go to element code and you can see here this is basically what we've selected if we just remove all of this there's no specific styling applied here but this of course makes it much harder to read so you can choose from those different code themes here this light another light dark and another dark you can also add some custom HTML. We also have our HTML element here. If I add this here, you can see now I have my H4 heading with some data and I have my paragraph here and you can just customize this to your liking. All right, and that's a wrap. That's everything basically you need to know in terms of how to add custom CSS and JavaScript. We can do this globally, just to recap, under brick settings, custom code, we can do this on a page per page basis under page settings custom code or we can just go straight 
into a specific element under CSS and add our custom CSS here. All right, that's everything for this video.